Oh, please, for the love of Arceus, don't freeze on me. Yee! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna go and kill these guys off, because I think, actually, if I recall correctly, um, there is a fairy somewhere in here, like, oh! Oh, that actually worked out. But I think there's a fairy somewhere in the, uh, watery area. So I'm just gonna go and whack these pots here and see what I can find. Remember that pathway as you've seen off to the right there was the pathway we came through. So don't 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 worry too much about that there. <laughs> um okay, I guess there wasn't a fairy down here, but I'm pretty sure there's a fairy in this room somewhere. Yes there is. Um I think I need oh, shoot. Shoot shoot shoot. I mean literally shoot at this. <laughs> I want to stop the turbine. I just realized that I wanted to stop that. And now I can... Yeah, see, at the top of this platform, it'll stop and then you can jump down over to said turbine. But the issue is that if you stop it at a different location, you won't be able to jump on top of this platform. So I, I would have wasted time if I didn't do it in the way that I did it. <laughs> now, um, there's also... Also, also... A chest up there. <laughs> I don't remember if I can reach that from here. Maybe I can. Um, hold on a sec. Just want to give myself a little, little breathing room from those blades here. Um, hmm. Maybe it's not. I can't. I can't reach it over there. But I can reach it somewhere else. I definitely want to reach it though. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, how do I reach it, though? That is the question, because I forgot. I mean, I know I can go around here, but that doesn't give me an angle to shoot at the, uh, the chest. <laughs> um, hmm. Um, was I supposed to... Oh, jeez. I don't dive in the water, Link. Was I supposed to let the other platform go up? Hmm. Or was I able to walk on to the sides of these blades? Because I think there's got... Oh, okay, you can walk on the sides of the blades. That makes more sense. There we go. And here's the fairy that I was looking for. Yeah! Okay, let's carefully get across here so you don't fall in the water. And also, we should probably check if we got all the fairies in here, too. <laughs> okay, see, so there's another one in here. Uh, I think... What I'm supposed to do here is hook shot over to a little alcove on the side there. Um, if I recall correctly, I can get to it from here. Yes. So hook shots over to there, and then I'm gonna have to restart the the water again. Oh, I'm not close enough, so I can't. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to restart the water flow to get back up here, I do believe. But, well, we gotta get the fairies some way. <laughs> so, I, I, technically, I did this room a little bit more inefficient than I should have. Oh yeah, you can shoot the torch, too. That's another option that you can do. And open says me! So I guess this is a good opportunity to teach you how to get the water flow back up and running again. See, you got ice arrows, but you've also got fire arrows. Uh, do the math. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so you just grab your fire arrows, then you go and shoot up at some ice that you froze over. That somehow didn't work. <laughs> And then there we go, it's it's back up and running. Then you grab your ice arrows again, whenever you need them. And then you do your routine, and hopefully not get eaten by a fish. It's waiting for it to stop moving, or at least close to stop moving. There we go, and then we can go up to that door over at the upper right portion of the room. And whee! Ooh, don't fall! <laughs> Because, yeah, see, no more fairies in this room. Good, good. Now, this room is a weighted room. See, there are these, uh, there are these things here. Yeah, see that? See that? Yep. <laughs> so, what we gotta do now is switch between arrows, and we gotta figure out our way through this place. The first one we wanna do is 
unfreeze this one that's nearest to us. That one worked, even though it didn't look like I hit it, compared to, to hitting the other one that actually didn't hit. Hit boxes, I swear. And now, see, now that we opened up this hole underneath here, we can go down as Zora and attempt to break this barrel, which is really annoying. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, actually, are these both open up? Uh, oh yeah, I guess I could have gone underneath it on the other side as well. Oh well. <laughs> I did need to open that up anyway, so... Yeah! Oh, come on. Come on now. See, you can't like just... No, it's, it's too strong. You've got to do it like... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you got to bash your head into it. There we go. Stray Fairy number 11. Going up to the top. And now we can begin killing off the enemies. Not as a Zora, though. Good lord, not as a Zora. <laughs> I guess I can break these open, because why not? Probably be faster to do it as a Goron, though. Eh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Because then I have to go into my inventory, and then it's just... Yeah, I, I don't know which is really faster, in all honesty. But what I do know is, I'm getting a nice resupplying of magic. <laughs> Alright, where's that other one that's blobbing around? I think it's on the upper level, actually. I got right here, you sucker. And... For arrows... Yeah, basically, I think they'll just keep respawning, but I just wanted to make sure that I had all the stuff going here. I want to unfreeze this one now. Because... It'll lead up to that platform over there. And then, what I want to do is unfreeze... This one, see what I'm doing here is basically, oh no, that I did the wrong order actually. What I'm doing here is uh, weighing down the platform so we can stand on it. Because remember before when I stood on the platform, what it did was it, it decided, hey yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna make it go down to the ground because of it, it's a seesaw type giblet. So yeah, it just doesn't quite work that way unless you weigh it down with some water or something like that. So, um... Wait, can't I get up here with the water? Oh, please tell me I can get up here with the water. I'm pretty sure I could get up here with the water. Oh, really? I can't? Are you serious? I'm freaking serious. <laughs> Alright. I could have swore you could get up there, though. Uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna go on this platform here, and then we're gonna... Get the fire fire arrows and from freeze it again. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I guess Link for some reason can't grab onto that diagonal ledge <laughs> for some reason. Um, mm, I think I actually want to do this room first before I finish off the rest. Just to be sure here. Oh no no no! This leads back to the dungeon key. I mean the uh, the boss key. Okay, so I am on the right track. Uh, okay, so then this one I reset the ice on. So now that I know, I can do this and then yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'm still okay. I don't know what happened there. Because I, you know I was standing on that other platform. Did I shoot the wrong- I don't think I shot the wrong one. No, because that's- yeah, that's the one that's next to- Okay, game. I'm calling bull on you once again with that one. Is it, It's like Link disappeared completely during that transition of the platform for some reason. So, okay. Going up here. And we are going to unfreeze it again. Okay? Okay. It, will it work? Is this going to work this time? It worked this time! Link is on the platform. That was so dumb. Like, I wonder if maybe what happened was I got hit by one of those um, juchus in the cutscene and then it bumped me off the platform or something? But I don't think so. It didn't sound like there was any sort of, or it didn't look like there was any sort of thing. Unless it was just off screen and I didn't see it. But still, anyway, I got up here now. 
And this, of course, means we've got another one of these to do. And we're pulling, we're pulling, and it is activated. His hands are not on that whatsoever. In my original videos for this, like when I was doing just like a couple part random gameplay of sorts of this dungeon, um, I believe this was the switch that just moved away from me as soon as I started moving it and Link just stood in place. <laughs> like there wasn't any sort of animation for the, uh, um, the, the walking animation for it or anything. It just moved into place on its own. Anyway, what I'm trying to do here is get myself around here so I can get over to that chest over there and... Oh wait, I already got the hookshot on, I'm stupid. And then a hookshot over to... I'm also stupid because I switched into the ma And I'm wasting magic! Oh my... Arceus, what is wrong with me? I'm just pressing buttons that aren't gonna work. So there's another fairy in here. <laughs> That's number 12. I don't think there are any more in this room. Uh, let's just see here really quick. No, there are not. So... Okay, let's let's test this here. Because there's a choo-choo coming for me. Oh! There's a choo-choo! Oh, I'll forget it. I can't test it now. It's not looking to let me shoot arrows. Well, actually, maybe it will if it respawns. Um, I'll see if it'll respawn here, just so I can test that. See the reason why I happen to go through that other platform for whatever reason. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, let's shoot up here really quick as it's coming to me. And let's see... No, see, it freezes in the cutscene, so I have no idea what happened the last time. That is just so dumb. <laughs> okay, so now we're going back into this room. And now we can go ahead and put this on. Because we're going to have to go through... No, 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 not, not that way. We need to go back where the Dexy hands were. Uh, because this is the room that leads over to where the boss key is. So let's go and flip-flop over here, and see if we can jump out of water fancy-like. Ah, oh, I failed. I hit my face in the wall. <laughs> okay, so over here. Remember I said you need, could need a dungeon item to get over to that chest over there? Yes. Uh, ice arrows. I don't like how they're basically the same color in the menu screen, like, because everything's grayed out here. When you're wearing this, when you're wearing some transformation mask, but when you take off the mask, then you can see the colors of that. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can get ourselves a platform close enough to that wall, so we can get to. Oh, well, maybe we could jump that now. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay, I think there's gonna be stuff falling from the ceiling here, so be careful. I think. I guess not. Okay. And now fire arrows. Open says me, and we're in. And this is where another one of those frogs are in that side quest with the frogs. Yep. So we also gotta come back to this dungeon in the future. Isn't that great? So here is a gecko, but this is a different kind of gecko. See, it's got it's got these uh, yeah, it's got these water bubbles. And the, the thing about it is that it'll eventually go inside one of those water bubbles, and shooting those water bubbles does nothing. At least when it's on the ground like that. So you gotta shoot it while it's on the ground like that, when it, it makes itself vulnerable-ish. And then, you see that? Get away from it because its range is pretty massive. And yeah, see it? When it drops down from the ceiling, that's a cool effect by the way. And then it shatters, and then you go ahead and attack it. There we go, and it's just gonna repeat that cycle. See, just watch how large the range of this is. It's gonna fall down, and- OH JEEZ, IT GOT ME! <laughs> I wasn't far enough away for it, and it does a decent amount of damage if you get caught into it, too. And it's like a little cutscene of damage, similar to, uh, the Morpha uh, fight if you get caught up in its technically goodness. Uh, OH SHOOT, NO! I wasn't far enough away again! <laughs> Ah, at least I got a fairy if need be. <laughs> He's a pretty comical enemy, I gotta say, though. 
Uh, see if we can get ourselves. There we go. And freeze. Oops. Shoot, I did that. I took too long there, and then a bunch of bubbles happen. <laughs> a bunch of water bubbles happen. There we go. We're, we're doing it. We're, we're making it. It'll eventually. We'll eventually have success here. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Okay. See, I'm. See how big that range is. Okay. Let's. Uh, oh. Oh yeah. I gotta wait for it to go all the way up to the ceiling. There we go. And now I can shoot it. It's gotta be in one big bubble. And there we go. I, I was targeting you. Don't tell me I wasn't targeting you. Don't you dare. <laughs> I wonder if I should just be using, like, regular arrows between shots or something like that. Uh, uh, it's gonna fall to the ground. Okay, I just heard the sound effect, that's how I know. Oh, and I'll just keep targeting it, see if it automatically makes me... Yeah, it does automatically make me stop L-targeting it. That's weird. You! No, 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 no. Yep, and there's another frog, so make it, make it, make a note of that frog, just like you did with all the other frogs that I hope... You are making notes of. <laughs> and there we go. So now that we finish this room ish, um, we'll, we'll, we're gonna have to come back here later, obviously. But I mean, we're finished just for this dungeon sort of thing, so yeah. Okay. Just wanna see here, because I'm missing a bunch of fairies, and I'm not really sure where I'm missing the set of fairies. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this room leads us over to the chests, of which we open, and of course, whenever you see a chest that is this color, it is uh, the boss key, yeah! And that was kind of funny with the mask on. <laughs> um, so okay, I'm still looking for a couple of fairies. That is a thing. Let's just see if we missed any rooms here. I mean, there's yeah, there's the boss room over there, that's... Uh, were all three fairies in that room? I don't remember if they were. Hmm. Hmm. I think they might have been. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end off the part here, and in the next part, I'm going to explore for the final bits of fairies and check out the boss. How's that sound? Because I think it's going to be a decent amount of time for the parts. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then. I'll just wave my beautiful reddish locks, yes, yes.